new screamer, same backstabbing attitude. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Voyager class, Starscream. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Siege. Of course, we have the symbol there on the background, which looks cool again. Don't know what these symbols mean, but they still look cool. His name is Starscream Transformers. Right side of the box. We have that nice piece of artwork going on there. On this side of the box, we have a very nice piece of artwork of a Screamer himself. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, a class of Yahed, a class a Voyager. On top of the box, Decepticon symbol, Transformers were for Cybertron. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. That's basically it for the packaging then moving right along here we have starscream and as you can see he is in his old tetra jets mode which is pretty cool i can work with it but that's getting close here so we can take a look at the details we do have some nice molded details throughout the jets a lot of that uh battle damaged paintwork going on there let's see typical starscream paint scheme going on the gray, the blue, the red. You got some transparent yellow plastic there for the cockpit section. Got the Decepticon symbols there on either side. You got those thrusters on the back done in a gunmetal gray. You can see his, uh, his, his faux chest piece just hanging out back there. Yeah, there's the top. And there's the bottom screamers just kind of folded up under there. Not too shabby for what it's trying to accomplish. Not not too bad. Not not too bad. So there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, power of the primes. Star scream. Here he is with the old uh, classics. Star scream. Here he is with his wave mate. Wave sound wave. As you can see how they look side by side. Here he is with the other wave, shock wave. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with Voyager Megs. So, there you go. Now as far as accessories go, uh, he does include his null rays. And the instructions do call them null rays, even though they do look straight up like rifles. You know, with a sight and everything, but hey! They call him no rays, I'm gonna call him no rays. His mama call him clay, I'm gonna call him clay. But pretty nicely detailed. And there's a couple spots you can plug these into. You can plug them into uh, these ports right here. Like so. So you can have them at an angle. So that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. You also have these ports here on the wings. So you can have them like that if you wish. And you can also plug them into the uh, the forearms as well. With that, so you can have that going on. So you got options, and as always, options are good. Now, as far as the uh, effects parts go, uh, you can plug these onto the gun, so you can pew pew bang bang if you want. You can uh, also plug these into the thrusters. Uh, for this one, you do have to remove this piece. It's the only way you can get all three of them to fit. But again. Plug one in there, take these two, plug them in there. Hey, hey, you stay in your home. You stay in your home. Plug those there, have that going on if you want to. So you can use the effects parts there, which is always nice. Adds to the fun, adds to the playability, and I like that. But there you go, that's basically it uh, for the alt mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> it's all right. So, first thing. What we're gonna do is just remove the null rays here and just get them out of the way. Put those off to the side and we shall begin. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come back here and you want to untab this faux chest piece and this will pop off. No matter what you do, this is going to pop off because the hinge this is on uh, sucks. So <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna pop off. The hinge is just not really strong. It's just on, 
This is on a friction clip, and it's not a good one because it really only clips into one side. Just clips onto that side, and the inside it's just it just doesn't really work all that well. Um, so yeah, that needed to be done better, or they could have run a pin through it. And it's funny because there, there are holes on either side of this. So maybe they were thinking of running a pin through it and just opted to not do it. But yeah, that needed to be a, a lot better. So yeah, that's going to pop off on you pretty much no matter what you do. So <laughs> just be prepared for that. But once you undo that, you come back here to this thruster and you can pop this up, bring that up and over, and that'll just tab in right there. We take the wings and we just pop them up. You know, they just tab in right up into his forms there. So just pop those up. And bring those up, and we can take this whole section here and just get this up and kind of get that out of the way. And you can see Starscream just kind of folded up in a very weird yoga pose there. So, now we just take his forearms here, and we just untab them from his legs. And we just bring his shoulders up. Untab the forearm, and just raise the shoulder up at this point now. We can, well, I need to raise up a bit so I got some room to operate here. There we go. So at this point now, you just want to take his legs, untab them from the body. See, this tab just goes right in there, right there. Just bring the leg down. Well, one cool thing is you do have this uh, spring-loaded panel here to fill in the leg, and we'll compress up for the transformation, which is quite cool. I dig that. Nice little bit of engineering there. So just take the legs and straighten them out. And then you just flip out his heel, flip out his toes, flip out the heel, flip out the toes. And you got the legs all done. And we just rotate them out the way so everything is facing forward. And there you have the lower body all done. So now we move on to the upper body. So you're going to take this chest assembly here and just push this down. And as, you and as you push this down, it's going to start to rotate the panel with his head up. So it kind of gets it started for you. And then you can just tab the chest onto the body like so. And now you can just grab his head and you have this panel right here which you have to untab from his head and just flip that down like that. So now we'll work on the backpack here. So you want to take this uh, nose cone section here and just split this down the middle. And this is very secure. There we go. Split that and then these will just swing up like so. And then you just bring the backpack down and you got these tabs which will go into slots right there. Just bring all that down and all that will just tab into place right there. And that's cool how that works to give him his, uh, his little shoulder vents. That's a neat little trick there. So now we got that done, now we will work on his arms. So we just rotate at the bicep so the elbow is facing forward. And you open up his forearm and you extend the forearm down on this double hinge. Come in here, flip out his hand, close it up. And there you go. Second vest is just like the first. Rotates, open, extend. Lip out, close up, and there you go. And the wings are on hinges, you can bring them back on a hinge here so you can angle them up. So you can pretty much do what you want with the wings there. But I think we're done, are we done? Yes, we're done, we we're done, there you go. And uh, there you have uh, Starscream in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E Starscream in robot mode. I like the look of his robot mode. I dig it. I dig it. So let's get in close here. So we're going to take a look at that head sculpt there. You got the nice silver there for the face. Light piping works pretty well. You can see his eyes. A pretty good red glow in there. A nice screamy head sculpt. Got that transparent plastic there for the faux uh, cockpit. Nice turbine nips done in that gunmetal gray. Of course, you have that, uh, that battle damage paint job throughout. 
all around looks pretty good lots of molded detail as well as with all these figures these figures have lots of great detail going on makes them look really cool in my opinion and moving up the back you know he pretty much just has the the jet just kind of folded up on his back there you got a nice wingspan going on yeah not too shabby now articulation wise uh the head is on a ball joint so you, you get a little bit a little bit of wiggly waggly you can look up a little bit you can look down a little bit head can rotate a full 360 arms can rotate a full 360 they can move in and out you do also have some forward movements due to transformation although you might pop that chest piece off we have some forward movement there on the shoulders as well we got bicep rotation you have a double jointed elbow so you have a nice full range of movement there you do have wrist rotation you have waist rotation legs can move forward that far can move back not that far before the backpack gets in the way forward you can do the full splits you got thigh rotation you have due to this little compressing panel here you have a nice deep knee bend there and the feet they can move up they can move down a little bit and you get a little bit of ankle tiltage and again the wings on a hinge that can move forward and back you can angle the wings up and down however you want you also have little Decepticon symbols there as well with some red so all in all he is uh, quite posable and of course we can give him his null rays and if you want you can just plug them into his hands so you can hold them as handheld weapons if you wish uh, you could plug them into his forearms as well he has those posts there so you can have that going on but they're supposed to go plugged into his shoulders up there like so and there you go and of course we can you know use the effects part you can plug it onto his shoulder here make it look like he's getting shot in the shoulder get shot in the leg or whatever again you can plug them onto the gun so you can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and he does have the ports here on his feet so you can plug those in there give him his thruster feet Right. all things you can do if you want to do them so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the uh, power of the primes starscream here he is with the old classics screamer hey you stand here he is with Megs and we'll bring in Soundwave too. So we can see those three together. And we'll bring in Shockwave. So I have that. Here he is with Skytread. Here he is with Optimus Prime. And lastly, here he is with Magnus. So, there you go. And if you want, you can arm him up with Shockwave's bits and pieces, if you wish. So, there you have Starscream. Um, he's a cool figure, in my opinion. Um, the only real problem I have with this figure, and it seems to be the problem that everyone has with this figure, is uh, the chest piece. Just comes off way too easy. Um, that clip should have been made better, or they should have run a pin through it, but yeah. That's the only real major problem that I have with the toy. Other than that, I like it. The Tetrajet mode looks pretty good. The robot, I think, looks quite good. And, you know, again, it's just, just fun, playable, good stuff. Just, unfortunately, that chest piece hinge just sucks, but, you know, it is what it is, but there you go. So, uh, these are starting to pop up at Walmart, so you can check your local Walmart to see if they have them in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out as well.
And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege of Voyager Class Starscream. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Nah, what a deliciously brutal war! <laughs> Thank Primus I don't actually have to be a part of it. Starscream, I need you to be a part of this deliciously brutal war. I jinxed myself, didn't I? Ah, Lord Megatron, so good to see you. Why, wh why exactly are you here? Uh, Soundwave said we could benefit from your help. And as much as I hate to admit it, well, I'm not going to. You're gonna help us or not? Well, well, well. How the tables have turned. The shoe is on the other foot. Oh, my foot! Once it was we lowly soldiers who came groveling for your help, and now you come groveling for mine. <laughs> How poetic. But I think I need some time to think about it. I mean, I'm not really sure if that. Ah! Huh? You fold up like a paper plane. <laughs> now hold on. This is gonna be a very bad ride for you. I deserve better than this! No, you don't.